Hello and welcome back to the Whammy Cast Amnesia walkthrough. So um, we've uh, we are here in the archives. Um, right here, let me s open that door. So yeah, the doors can be kind of hard to figure out at first, but eventually you'll get it. Um, to pick up items, you just hold it um, with the left mouse button. And uh, to rotate it, hold R and drag. To throw it, you right click. To drop it, you just let go of the mouse button. Simple, right? Alright, so I'm going to go in here, to this room here. Now you may or may not have heard that little noise there, which is uh, the brute, um, I believe they're called. It's the monster. Um, you can hear the brutes really early on in the game, but you do not actually encounter them until way later. So, but you do encounter a different type of monster, which is almost as deadly, but not quite. Oh, what the heck. It's not even close to as deadly as the brute. <laughs> Alright, another diary page. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. So now, um, go over here and open this door that's been left slightly open. Um, I'm gonna light this real quick. There's a book that falls off over here. Boom, like that. Now, in this box here, there's some useful stuff. Oh, music. Alright, in that furnace there's a tinder box. I think that's all there is in here. Oh, and the following book, of course. Here. There we are. Okay, now go back uh, through kind of where you came from. Okay, my lantern oil's looking pretty good. If I say so myself. Okay. This door is locked. Right now, just for right now. It won't stay locked forever. So that music was coming from this piano. Don't walk toward it. The thing will slam closed. It will scare you half to death. And it will also drain your sanity. Hear more brutes as well. Okay, so there's this right here, that oil we can pick up. unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. 
Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So that's where the story really begins, actually. Flashback is coming up, but first open this uh, chest here and grab the stuff inside. Still looking pretty good. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. So now over here... You can look that there's a little hole in the wall, but we can't break through it um, with our hands. So pick up this little, this little, um, Sir, Sir, uh, what should I name this guy? Uh, Sir Nightalot. Sir Nightalot's helmet and throw it at the wall, and it just breaks, just like that. That is fun. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay, so... See this book right here? It's not real. It's actually a lever. I mean, it might be a real book, but... He made it into a lever. And there's another one right here. And the last one is right here. Oh my gosh, a secret room behind a bookshelf? Alexander, you brilliant man. All right. So, um, in one of these, oh, yep, there it is. There's a wine cellar key. And I'm not gonna take the time to read that. So, less spoilers. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, there's not. Alright, so go back here, more oil right here, and I think there's another diary page over here. Pick up this book, and... Come on. There we go. I just like breaking glass. Oh, all that, and it's not a diary page. Dang it. So, over here, go into crouch mode by pushing left control. There's a monster over here. Be careful. It despawns in a moment, but um, you'll want to be very slow and give it enough time to despawn. <laughs> Going back to the entrance hall, I'll show you that wall of goop that um that I was telling you guys about. Oh yeah, this stuff. Be careful around this stuff. Ah, jeez. Ah, it punches you. <laughs> the 
That, just so you know, that goop that punches you actually jumps me more than the rest of the game. <laughs> Alright, so, down here, this is where we're supposed to go, but there's a wall of that stupid slimy stuff. And we can't break through it, so we'll have to um, get some chemicals to uh, burn it down. So go into the wine cellar here. And use the key on the door by double clicking, clicking on the door, and just like that we're inside the wine cellar. This is where things start getting a little creepy. Pick up this here. There's some monster around here, but I don't. I think we just hear him. I don't think he actually shows. Up. Well, actually, I think he does show up a little. I can't remember. Some of this actually kind of merges together in my mind for me because the castle is such a maze. So we refilled the lantern there with a little bit, not a whole lot. Refill it even more with that. Grab all this stuff real quick. Now, don't light this stuff yet, but you'll want to in a moment. First, grab this chemical. Now is when you'll want to light these up. Alright, so as you can see, the door is closed and there's a bunch of crap that's blocking our way. And our sanity has been drained low. Very low. Alright, so, um, now right now I'm just kind of dragging this along. To do that, you hold down the left mouse button while moving in the direction you want to push it or pull it. You can also, um, uh, push the right mouse button to kind of kind of shove it along um, even faster like that. As they put it, it gives it an extra push. I'm not exactly sure how else I could describe it, but there you are. So then I move this out of the way like this, and then go in here, or back out, I guess. And we solved the puzzle. Our sanity is now a slight headache. And this video is lasting a little while now. Might have to stop in a bit. So it looks like I might have room for one more. Place. Uh, there goes our sanity again. <laughs> That's kind of sad, really. Oh, holy grossness! I didn't even notice that it was up there until now. All right, so. In here, we have a bunch of broken body parts and stuff. That's icky. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. Mm. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except that we're not getting out of here alive. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> now, open this. Um, actually, don't open that. I thought there was a tinderbox in there. Now, click. Click. Uh, click. Click and drag. Click and drag. Yeah, there's nothing in there. This room doesn't have a whole lot in here, does it? I think I already opened this. Yes, I did. Oh! How did I not see that? Alright. Now you go back through here. Alright, next thing you want to do... Hi, Raylan. 
is go over here. Um, but this door is locked. So, what you need to do is go over here. Oh, crap. Uh, it looks like I'm going to need to end the video, so I will talk to you guys next time. See you in a bit.